I parked here. I thought it was a good place to park, it's not too busy. I put my debit card in that machine right there, where it says pay here. And then I paid $5.75 or something, and my receipt came out, and as soon as it came out of the machine, it's windy, it blew away. It blew down the street towards the water. I'm like, oh crap, come back here, and it blew in the water, it's gone. It's long gone, it went like all the way, all the way down here. So I called the number on the machine, I said, do I need to keep the receipt on my dash? Do I need to buy another receipt? They said, I can't tell you, I don't know. <laughs> and then I called the city and they said, I can't tell you, I don't know. So if I get a ticket for parking here because my receipt blew away and I put $5, I'm gonna be upset. But it is what it will be. I, I don't know, it's crazy. I've never had that happen, it's so weird. Anyways, we're at Passive Grill Beach. I've got about an hour or so before I get ticketed for not having a ticket on my parking spot. Let's go, I, I don't know, let's go enjoy the beach. I'm gonna show you, and this is special to me. I'm gonna get rid of this lens cap on here because it's annoying. I'm gonna show you where I grew up. I used to live here. Okay, there are shuffleboard courts here. I haven't seen shuffleboard courts since the last time I was on a cruise ship. Um, the funny thing is, it's like such an old relic. It's pretty awesome to see this. The Trudy Perry Shuffleboard Corpse. Isn't that something? It's really pretty. You can feel the history here. This is the southernmost point of St. Petersburg Beach. Like it's, it's a different beach than all the beaches on there, but this is the southernmost point. This is cool. There's like a little stadium set up. It says, no, do not feed the seagulls. And over here, there's like little stadium seating. This is really cool. Do not walk on, do not walk. Do not walk on court. Courts by R-K-N-I-D-Y, Winter Park, Florida. That's quite far away. Very interesting. Huh. It's really pretty out here today, really windy. Let's go look at the water, and we're surrounded by water, so let's go see what the water looks like. And look at this little miniature house right here, it's so cute. Now, there's a drinking fountain you don't see every day. I wonder if it works. It probably works. I don't want to touch it. Oh my God, does it work. It really works, that's funny. This is a cute little park over here. So you can literally, you can catch some fish over at the water and then bring it back over here and barbecue it on that little grill. So this little park is called Passa Grill Park. Imagine that, city of St. Pete Beach. Really pretty, really quiet. It looks like there's a little gift shop at the end here called Gifts Galore. So this is a dive bar. There used to be a laundromat right here. I think it was one of these, it was a laundromat. I don't remember, but there was a post office right here. There were really little tiny post office. But if we go further over here, I'll show you. Right here, EP Lane. This is, we used to drive down there to park in the back. Right here, across the street. Used to be all types of nightclubs and stuff out here. They're all gone. This pink building right there, that's where I lived for a small amount of time. And there was a post office like right here. It's gone. Oh, there's, there's a post bin. Is there a post office? And there was a bunch of green apartments right here that are not there anymore. I don't know where they went to. They're missing. And then this is the Seahorse. I think it's still called the Seahorse Lawn. I haven't been here in forever. It's so small inside there. It's as small as it looks on the outside there. It's just got a picture of a Seahorse. I'm assuming the name is still the same. 
that says Seahorse Restaurant on the, the green bench right here. On the green bench, Seahorse Restaurant. Okay, so you can see down there for miles, there's beach all the way down. And then when you turn around, there's also beach the other way, which I will show you right now. All the way down here. So I think it was 10,000 years. I'm not sure, quote me, tell me, whatever, shout at me if I'm wrong, but I think it was 10,000 years ago that the uh, some Indian tribe lived out here. That's way before Christopher Columbus and anyone else, I believe. And then from here, you can also see the Hurricane Restaurant up there on the right. The Hurricane right there. You can see the second floor. It's got a uh, balcony rooftop seating, really pretty. And then Brass Monkey over here is also this one on the right, right here, right behind us. Whoops. Good way to break a camera. That restaurant right there, Brass Monkey has really good food. Really good food. Maybe the I didn't know this. There is a Gulf Beaches Historical Museum here. I've never seen this. I'd never know that existed unless I just parked across the street here. So how about that? That's very interesting. I had no idea. I feel kind of stupid for not knowing that. No parking in alley. Yeah, there's all these alleyways. This is the only place I've ever seen this is St. Pete. Everywhere else I've lived has never had alleyways like this. There's a little bus stop. I did notice there's a lot of electronic little golf cart things around here I've never seen before. Little bus stop and then across the street, Paradise Grill, like right on the beach. I think they have hot dogs and hamburgers, typical beach food. And this light has been turned off for the sea turtle nesting season. I guess after October 31st, they'll probably put that back on. Thank you. Like, there's no one here, basically. There's people here, but not as many that you'd expect on a beautiful day like this. It's really hot. All right, I'm gonna take you for a walk on the beach. And then, uh, and we'll get out of here after that. It's really weird, it's changed a lot over the years. It's not the same place that it used to be at all. It's similar, but totally different. Used to be a lot of little clubs. There's little clubs, but they're not the same, much bigger. There was like little, little clubs. Like people would just get trashed, drunk out of their mind. And I don't see that here anymore. And I don't smell beer in the streets doesn't have the same smell. It's different. But if you're looking for a little place to go on vacation in Florida, like a little unpopular part of the world or a little nook and cranny that's really good, this is at Paso Rome. Here is the beach on the other side. How about that? And it is decently busy. There's like a dozen people here. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. This is really windy out here. You can see in the distance the dances are over there. Miles of beach. This is probably like one of the best beaches right now in Pinellas County. I think. You can see the way the, the sun is reflecting on the water. That's just beautiful. I officially hate these automated pay machines. 325 per hour. You enter your number and then it's supposed to supposed to work, but it didn't work. It sucks. I lost my money. And I lost the receipt. Nobody can answer questions about it. And there's all these little 
independently owned motels. Here's the Sable Palms. Really pretty. Really nice looking retro. Old Florida. See the sidewalk here? The sidewalk looks like it's been laid in pieces of concrete, but I remember when they put these little tiles on, they used to do these brand new, and if one broke, they would replace it. These don't look the same. These actually look like concrete, but back in the 80s, they used to replace them and have real little stones. All right, guys, I'm out of here. It's Sammy, Sammy Jacks. I will see you next time. Uh, and, and just blah, blah, blah. I want you to notice one thing. It's 85 degrees outside, and it's hot and sweaty, and it's October. So Florida, it's just, it's always hot. It's always sweaty, but it is beautiful. You can't get this anywhere else except Florida, maybe California. But this is, this is really beautiful. Subscribe, don't die unless you have to, and I'll see you next time.